Welcome to SMAP3D, Solutions in 3D Plant Design. When both environments are visible, you can see the direct connection between SMAP3D PNID and SMAP3D piping via the to-do list function. When selecting an assigned entry in the to-do list, it is highlighted in SMAP3D PNID and SMAP3D piping simultaneously. In the SMAP3D PNID window, you will now see the creation of a new bypass pipeline on an existing tank. The new pipeline gets a unique tag number and the required parameters for size and pipe spec are assigned. Here you can see the connection to the available pipe specs from SMAP3D piping. Displayed out of date information you can update with the named functionality. With the transferred information, the user creates the 3D pipeline. The function show from two points helps to find the correct connection points on the 3D model. With the 3D sketch feature and the included function routeline, the pipeline path is drawn in 3D. The finished 3D sketch is the base of the 3D pipeline for SMAP 3D piping. With the to-do list function, the pipeline information from SMAP 3D PNID will be assigned to the 3D pipeline path. With one click, the SMAP 3D pipeline will be automatically generated. All required and allowed fittings are taken automatically from the piping library with the knowledge from the assigned pipe specification. The required valve is placed via the to-do list. The position on the pipeline is defined by the user with native SOLIDWORKS mates. The update function brings automatically the new required counter flanges and gaskets to the placed valve. With this displayed content, a typical isometric drawing will be generated. During the automatic generation process, the complete 3D content and its included information are analyzed and used to create the isometric drawing and the included reports. As a result, the generated drawing in DXF format is available and can be opened in an assigned application. This isometric drawing includes all the required information to manufacture the pipeline. 